The grit and grind are the most underrated styles to play. No, 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 seriously. Seriously, why don't you take a minute to think about that? Uh, let's, let's say you go back to the 2004 NBA season. Detroit Pistons. They came into the playoffs, took a shocking turn to take home a title, with just such a small chance of doing so in the first place. They had so many obstacles to go over, especially facing the Lakers in the finals. But they still pulled through. You probably ask me why I'm talking about the grit and grind. You know, where am I going with this? Well, if you see what's right in front of you, that's where the great city of Nashville comes into play. Yo, what is going on guys? Lucio here and welcome to uh, a new series that I wanted to start for a long, long time, but just never got around to doing so. Um, this is going to be NBA 2K20 My League Expansion. We are going to be taking over the Nashville Stars and uh, we are going to be joined by the Seattle Supersonics as always. Well, not as always, but as most of the time when you see an expansion, somebody's adding the Seattle Supersonics. Um, a little bit about the team. Nothing. <laughs> There's nothing here. Everybody, no, no players, no staff. Um, we're gonna be starting in the draft lottery. Then I'm gonna fire every single one of the staff, and because they're all gonna like, they're all like zero dollar salary. And then I'm gonna get like actual staff, and then, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and start in the draft lottery. This is what it's been looking like, by the way, for those of you who don't know. I'm going to skip through it. That is the biggest doll I've ever seen the Pistons take ever to go from the first to the sixth. Yikes. Okay. But it looks like we're dealing with the fourth pick. So let's go ahead and uh, exit. Okay. So first things first, head coach. There's a lot of different head coaches to go for, honestly. Um, including the great Greg Pop. But I don't think we're going to, I don't think we can land him. Honestly, that'd be a little unrealistic to land him. I'm looking more like uh, Benjamin Walker. We're gonna sign him for three and a half million, or at least try to. Assistant head coach. I do like the idea of Delon Wright. He might. He, I might have to pick him up during the expansion draft as well. Um, Bulbul is very interesting, especially because he's a 77 overall. Let's go ahead and head into the expansion draft. Bulbul is the first taken player. So it looks like the Sonics will be having Bow Bowl with them. Let me look at young players that uh, are not protected. TJ Leaf is interesting, but honestly, there's not a whole lot of great young players, except for Justin Jackson. Justin Jackson might be different, but honestly, I could take him any other time. So Rudy Gay's an OKC. Wow, that must have been a, there must have been a trade, because I did I did simulate one season. Honestly, I don't know if I told you guys that or not. Um, I'm going to be taking Rudy Gay and DeLon Wright. He's taking J.J. Redick, Wesley Matthews. I'm going to take Mike Scott. Um, what have I picked? Okay, so Mike Scott. Mike Scott. Okay, so I can pick a point guard or a center. Point guard or a center pick up here. Honestly, I have a pretty good idea on what I want to do in free agency, so if there's a center. I guess, no, wait, Dwayne Dedman's on a plus one year. So if he's on a player option, I'm not taking it. Oh, no, he's, he's not on a player option. I do like Dwayne Dedman, so I will pick him up. Um... I guess just try to take younger players as well. Jalen Lequeu, let Jalen Lequeu, 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 Lequeu. I'm gonna say Lequeu, Lequeu. All right. Um. 
All right, so we're only five rounds in, which means we have another we have another nine. Yeah, we have another nine rounds. So Brigade along right. I guess. Uh, for for a nice bench point guard, I guess Avery Bradley could be something good. Let's see what else could we do. Have I picked up a bench small forward? No, I haven't. Well, I guess that's where we can take in Javante Green. Um, alright, let's see. Honestly, I'm surprised at how barren this expansion draft is. I was not expecting this. So we're about halfway through. We could use another power forward, probably. That would pro- oh, wait, no, I already have a- I, I have a plan, don't worry about that. Um... Maybe take a bench shooting guard. And Dante Exum. I think I'm gonna take Dante Exum. I mean, yeah, it's not the worst contract in the world. And then next up would probably be. Have I picked a center? I guess. Even though I'd like to, I would like to draft a center. So maybe just pick up a young one. Somebody who can rebound. Um, wait, what's your rebounding? B plus. Okay, so if your if your rebounds just slightly under, I'll take you just because you're taller. Uh, Caleb Swanigan did have a badge though. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter too too much. Yeah, what I wanted to do is take more of a younger younger court. Maybe grab a young small court. Oh, never mind. That's not available. I guess for the rest of these guys, just take take a bunch of expired people. Take some expired contracts. Because there's not a whole lot else that I'm seeing that I really, really would like. Maybe take Jalen Noel. Other than that... Let's see... Um, could I pick up an older shooting guard? No. Let's see, Randy McGruder. You're not on a player option, are you? Yeah, I'll take I'll take Roddy McGruder just for veteran presence, or not? Mm, no, I'll take Doris Miller for veteran presence, and then yeah, okay. I'm gonna just take some expired contracts. Uh, Caleb Swain again. Alright, cool. That'll be the end of the draft. Or the end of the expansion draft, anyway. Yeah, the, yeah, the end of the expansion draft, anyway. Um, alright, time to head to the NBA draft, but before anything... Um, I have a trade that I would love to make. Give me the Nets second rounder. I'll take that. Okay. Time to get into the draft. Whew. Okay. This is this is the big thing, guys. This is the big thing. All right. So if I go into prospect scouting, honestly, I could always just take the best. Here, I'm gonna do that. I could always just take, you know, the best guy available. But I guess, I guess if I had to target like somebody who I would really, really want. Maybe go after Obi Toppin. I think Obi Toppin's the guy I'm going to go for, but honestly, it just depends. Let's see. Indiana Pacers have the first pick. They take James Wiseman. Honestly, that is the weirdest pick I've ever seen because they would never take James Wiseman. New York. They're taking Anthony Edwards. Smart pick on their end, I guess. Even though they, they got R.J. Barrett, which I'm kind of curious what they're going to do with that. Okay, Atlanta takes Denny Avia. Detroit takes Onyika Unkongwu. Unkongwu. Okay, honestly, I, I thought they were going to take a point guard, but whatever. Seattle takes Cole Anthony. Alright. Now it's our pick. Now here's the curious thing Lamelo Ball is still available. Don't think I didn't see Lamelo Ball still available. But honestly, I do have a plan. 
I have a very big plan, so Obi Toppin is the guy I'm going to be taking. So in the next pick, let's see who's available. Cassius Stanley. Um, this person right here. Well, actually, you know what? Let me take a look at my team. Let me take a look at the team. Um, okay, Avery Bradley. I guess take take a point guard. If anything, I want to take a point guard. Cassius Stanley is a shooting guard. Your center. And then this person is also a center. Grant Riller. He's a slashing point guard. I'll take him. Honestly, never heard of him. And then we have another second rounder as well that we can use. I have nine trade offers. Yeah, I'll take a look at him. Okay. Honestly, I like this Jalen Smith. But I don't think I would like to give up another second rounder for him. Team needs... Yeah, these, these centers are that, aren't that great. Um, I guess take a power forward, honestly. Let's see. I'd like to take a power forward. Ah, just give me this guy and I'll make him a power I'll make one of my other guys a power forward. Okay, rookie signing. Yeah, I'd like to sign these other two because, you know, I'd like to see where they go. Roger Bullock, nope. No. Caleb Swanigan, no. Caleb Martin, no. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to re-sign any of these guys, I don't think, right? Yeah, no. No, no, no. I want to sign a center. Yeah, no. Okay. Alright, cool. Qualifying offers, don't have any. And then, alright, so we go straight into free agency. So, my plan here is to sign Fred Van Fleet. Fred Van Fleet and Christian Wood. These are the two people I would love to pick up. And then I would also like to get a center. Now if this certain center is not in free agency. No, he is. Okay, I would love to pick up JaVale McGee as well. Javel McGee, pick him up. One year deal for nine million. Okay, so JaVale McGee, alright, we got all these guys. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm not sure if I oh okay, never mind. That would take me over the cap limit. Okay. So it looks like we got Fred Van Fleet. Christian Wood and JaVale McGee. Yep, we got all the guys I wanted to get. Okay. So now I think we're good. I honestly, yeah, honestly, this is what I would love to have worked with. Yeah, yep, just the three players I needed. All right, let's see if there's any steals in free agency that I could pick up. There are quite a few, but none of these I really see me taking realistically. Julia Loco for I always, I actually. Do really like Julia Loca for? I would like to take Carmelo Anthony though. Go ahead and trade away Mike Scott. I'll take that. Got a nice first rounder for him. And I take Carmelo Anthony. He is declined. Okay. Who's he? Okay. I just really want an old presence on my team. Alright, yeah, I'll take I'll take Jamal Crawford. Jamal Crawford, there we go. Alright. Cool. Picked up Jamal Crawford. Now I don't I just I hope I don't have too many people. Let's see. Three six eight eleven 13, 14, 15. 15. No, okay. I have just the amount, right amount of people. Okay, so Christian Wood actually goes down one, which is kind of weird, but considering his stats go up, but eh, whatever. Also, his badges went away. Um, pretty gay. Okay. Why do all Christian Wood's badges go away? That's, that's not nice. I'll have to look up what badges he had and put them back on him. 
Okay. Other than that, though, this is fine. We can go straight to training camps, because honestly, I don't really care about the summer league. But I, I would love to see our, uh, our guys perform well. Alright, um, and then after this, I guess I'll show you guys the the court and the uniforms. They're usually really broken. Okay, so first thing I want to do, Obi Toppin. Next thing I want to do, where is he? Uh, yeah, green. I would like to put your three-point shot up, because I actually do want to see green kind of become a main person. Oh, we have 16? Okay, stop simulation and review. I'll just trade one of the shooting guards, because we have tons of those. But if that's what they want, that's what they can have. Alright, that's cool. At least I'm getting first rounders. So, my first game is against Clippers. Alright. So taking a look at the squad, though, this, is, this isn't a bad squad at all. Also, I'm using a new camera, by the way, um, from what I usually use. I'm using the drive camera with uh, custom settings on it, so hopefully you guys do like that. Um, let's take a look at the coaching game plan. Hopefully we have a 10-man rotation, yep. Uh, everything is around what I would like. Probably do that for Young. And set a standard. Let us use the... I want to be a really grit and grind team, so let's use the 04 Pistons playbook. I want this to be a very grit and grind team, because... Uh, that's that's the dream, you know, win a championship without having a, an extremely championship-based team. Um, so I'm gonna give Christian one his badges back. I just gotta go find what badges he had. I know a lot of players must have lost their badges, which is gonna be kind of weird, but you know, oh well. So what I'm gonna be looking to do this team this year for this team, Dante Exum is the only person we can resign. All right, honestly, that might be pretty interesting. So what I'm looking to do with this team, probably try to... I just want to see where I stand. Which is probably going to be tanking for another draft pick. But honestly, I think this team, we could just wait it out. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys the arenas. The arena is pretty decent. I, I, I like it. The, uh, the, city, the Music City Arena isn't a final thing. I'm probably going to have that changed by next episode, but the uniforms is custom. The uniforms are custom. They are slightly different. So, uh, other than that, I guess I can do the the training. So, Macur Maker. Macur Maker? Mac Macker Maker? I'm just going to call him Macur Maker. Uh, I'm going to give you Lob City Finisher, Rim Protector, and Rebound Chaser. I'll be topping. Do I not have somebody to teach you? Cause one I did. I don't know if I want to do that. All right, I'll I'll just get Rudy Gay to teach you. Corner specialist. Drop stepper, flexible release. All right. Jalen. Yeah, I'll have Delon Wright teach you. Needle threader. Bailout, and we'll go. Any shooting badges? No, he's more of a slasher anyway. Uh, I'll give you consistent finisher. Any other young guys? A crew maker? Did I not? Honestly, could I put you on Dwayne Deadman instead? Box, rim protector. Okay, um, so yeah, that'll be it. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. Please leave a like. Comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.